Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of this video, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So I've decided to do a sit down video and review my Ninja Dual Zone Air Fryer. So I have had this air fryer for around five months now. So I think that's long enough for me to give you an honest, unbiased opinion and review of this appliance because I did buy it with my own money. And I thought this would be really helpful for those of you out there who are maybe interested in buying this, but just want to know a little bit more about it because it is an investment. It doesn't come cheap. So I'm going to try my best to go through pros and cons for you and tell you exactly what I think about this. So I really hope this video does help you out and I'll get straight into the pros to start with. So the first thing that I love about this air fryer is that it is a dual zone, which means it comes with two separate baskets, one on either side. This just gives you the opportunity to cook different foods at the same time. Now saying that, it also comes with these very clever modes. So there's a sink option and a match function here. And basically what that means is if you want to cook the same thing in uh, both baskets, you can just click the match option and that will make sure both baskets cook with the same temperature for the same amount of time. And the sink function, so if you were to cook two separate foods, say I've got chicken in one and I've got chips in the other, for example, you can pop it on so that while one is cooking because it takes longer, the other one will be on hold. So it will just be paused until the times are even and then the second basket will also continue to cook. This is also a larger capacity air fryer. It is a nine and a half litre, which means it's perfect for families. If you are cooking larger meals, for example, then this is the perfect appliance. It's got lots of room in here. I'll just show you, this is one of the baskets and get two of these. So just imagine how much you can get in there. They are quite deep as well. So they are brilliant if you are looking to cook for larger families or if you just want the extra space to cook different foods at the same time. So another thing I absolutely love about this air fryer is the amount of molds that it comes with. So it has an option for max crisp, air fry, roast, bake, reheat and dehydrate. So there's so many options there depending on how you would like to cook the food. Now the next pro is a huge one, probably the most important one and that is that this appliance right here has saved so much on our energy bills. So on average this is saving us between 35 to 40 percent um, than what it was before. So we've got a huge amount of savings on our energy bills, which is always a plus, especially with what's going on in the world at the moment. Everyone is going through a very difficult time. And if you can save money here and there, it helps everyone out. So that is one of the main reasons I absolutely love this. Since having my air fryer, I honestly barely use my oven anymore. I used to use the oven on a daily basis and I honestly have only used it a handful of times since I've had this. The only time I do use the oven is if I am cooking larger meals in big batches. If not, then this is exactly what I turn to and I promise you I use this appliance every single day without fail. The next thing I love about this is the inserts that come within each basket are dishwasher safe. So it just means for an easy clean up, I will just show you what they look like. So this is what the little insert looks like and it's just there so that the air can um, circulate around the foods that you are cooking. You can remove this if you wish but I tend to keep it there for most of the recipes that I um, cook in there but it is super clean as you can see. I do make sure I pop this in the dishwasher after every use but even if you don't want to put this in the dishwasher it's very easy to just scrub off in your sink area. It also comes with a non-stick coating, which really helps for the food to just easily be removed. Another great thing about my Ninja Air Fryer is when it's in use, it is actually super quiet. So it's not very noisy at all. So it can be on in the background and it will not disturb you, whatever you may be doing. So that is a positive for me because sometimes I just don't want a very loud appliance in the back. And this is perfect because you can barely hear it. Next thing I would like to mention is that foods cook in less than half the time 
in an air fryer um, compared to your traditional oven. So it is so much faster at cooking those foods, which is again, saving on your energy bills because it's just cooking it so much quicker. This heats up super fast as well, whereas with an oven, you have to preheat it, wait for it to heat up. So that is another positive about this. And the final thing that I do wanna mention, which is a huge positive, is that you can cook a variety of foods in your Ninja Air Fryer. So I have cooked chips, a full chicken. I have baked bread in here. I have made desserts. I've made cookies and cakes. There's just so many things you can make in here and you just have to experiment with it and honestly everything turns out so delicious as you will have seen from my previous videos on recipes that i have tried in this ninja air fryer and i am so so happy with it i am really impressed with the ability to cook foods in this thing it does an amazing job so now i'm just going to move on to a few cons now when i say that please take it lightly because there is absolutely nothing wrong with this machine but if a few things were maybe slightly different or improved, then it would be absolutely brilliant, which it already is, but it would just improve it even more. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is this center button right here, this round one. So sometimes when I go to pick an option, for example, I'm gonna pick the air fry option, and I turn the dial, pick air fry. Sometimes when I press this button, it turns very slightly, which causes the actual mode to change as well. So there's been times where I've gone to press the air fry, I've clicked the button to start the process, but it is now on max crisp. So you just need to be a little bit careful. Maybe if they made this button right here a little bit sturdier, then that would not happen. But saying that again, it doesn't cause you any issues. You just have to make sure that you just double check the settings once you do press that button to make sure that they haven't changed. The next thing that I would say is a little bit of a downfall is with these baskets, the actual out of it, it's not advised that you pop these in the dishwasher. You can, but it's advised that you just hand wash them and that's exactly what I have been doing. But sometimes I do find that on the inside of the basket, it leaves a little bit of a residue that I find really difficult to get rid of. So I'm going to try and give you a closer look. Can you see right there? This is what I'm talking about. I have tried to get rid of that and I don't want to scrub it too much because I don't want to scratch it, but sometimes that can happen. But overall, it's not hard to clean. It is non-stick again, but I just find that grease really sticks to the edges. I'm just um, trying to show you there. Maybe if this was the same material as this, it may have been a little bit easier to clean. But apart from that, it's absolutely fine. And the last thing I would say is maybe a con is that I find it very difficult to find inserts for this. So things such as little trays or baking dishes, things like that. It's quite hard to find one to fit this basket perfectly. So if you would have seen in one of my previous videos, I actually did a DIY on a silicone cupcake mold that I found in Aldi and I just had to cut it to fit my basket. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to find one. I mean, there are a few things out there, but they are very pricey. And after spending so much on the actual appliance, you don't really want to be um, buying extra things for it. But that would be another downfall, I'd say, just because of the size of this. I have gone out and bought little dishes to fit this, but sometimes I'll come home and realize that they don't actually fit. So I would say that's maybe one other thing that I would have liked to be a little bit different so that I could get inserts to fit it perfectly. So that's my review of this air fryer. If I was to rate it out of 10, I would give it a solid 9.5. And if it wasn't for those few cons that I just mentioned, it would be a solid 10. But saying that, please just understand that this machine is absolutely amazing. It does its job. It cooks food to perfection. It cooks so many different things. And since we've had this air fryer, I'd also like to mention that we have cut down on takeouts so, so much. We've saved so much money on buying food outside when I can just make it at home now. I have cooked so many different things in here. I make fakeaways in here. Whatever I fancy, I try and make it in here and it always does a really good job at cooking it. Another thing I'd like to mention is this is great for a healthy lifestyle. If you are looking to maybe lose a few pounds or you just want to cook healthier, more nutritious meals, 
then this is brilliant because it requires very little to no oil at all. Um, compared to when you are frying things in a pan or even in the oven, you drizzle some olive oil on there. I always use a spray oil because it means I'm using a lot less than if I was just to pour some over. I have noticed a massive difference in the foods that I'm cooking. They are so healthy, so nutritious, and so yummy at the same time. So that is a huge thumbs up from me. And guys, I think that brings me to the end of my review. Like I mentioned, I've had this for five months now and I think I have experimented enough to give you a very honest review. I really hope that this video has helped anyone out there who is maybe thinking about buying this. I 100% recommend it. I think it's one of the best appliances out there in terms of air fryers. I have had an air fryer before this, um, but it was just a tower air fryer, the round one, so it wasn't big enough to cook meals, I find anyway. This one has changed the game for me completely and I wouldn't go back to any other. I honestly love it so much. And as you know already, I'm always sharing different recipes on my channel. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, please click on my channel and go and check those out. And yeah, guys, that brings me to the end of it. So I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.